Um, you guys want to talk about Cal Exit? I do. I do. I was just. You guys want to talk about Cal Exit? Fuck I don't want to yeah. talk about the comic. I want to talk about. Let's, let's actually do this shit. <laughs> so actually, yeah. this is a book. You're now on a list on Black I've Mask. I've been on a list. I, Black Mask is now <laughs> like a couple lists. <laughs> Black Mask Comics is now like the one of the most exciting. I feel like I always want to say label, but like imprints going, publishers, publishers going. Yeah. I mean, they they're really knocking out of the park. You have nothing but Black Mask on Pretty, your almost, end of the table. Almost, yeah, right. Mistaken, so. Yeah. So Mike threw this in my box. I had forgot, I had seen that it was coming out, but I didn't really know anything about it. But the title's pretty obvious, right? Um, Mike, you want to talk about this? So there we go. how did, how did you about find it. out about the, the, the ultimate? Cover. Well, uh, first thing I heard about was the actual movement of Cal Exit, right. which don't get angry deep. I won't get angry. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'll get factual deep. Okay. Uh, so Cal Exit, the movement was started actually by Russians. Okay, and here's what's going on in America right now is that we're a superpower, right? Russia's a superpower. We have nukes. C- California have nukes. has, I think, what was like the seventh strongest economy. I'm talking about America, six. though. He mentioned six. six. Yeah. 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 I'm talking about America. I read it before so I came here. So the best way to destabilize this country is to put somebody in power who will do it within. And that's what we have right now. Mission accomplished, Russia. Right. <laughs> good, and seriously, good job, Russia. And it's like, why would Russia? Why would Russia want Trump over Hillary? Well, because he's going to make the worst decisions. Heaven forbid we have a 9/11 in the next six months. Because oh, like we've already, dif- we like we've already. You think we will? No, I said I, I don't think we will. I hope, I hope not. That sounds awful. You scare me. Yeah. Um, but like we won't have the world support that we had like you know right. a year ago, ten yeah, years ago, true. whatever. So. Right now, this country is in a state of destabilization, and the Cal Exit thing, while I think it's a good idea now, like was actually presented by Russian people. Now, if, I, if, I, if I remember, like there was something that went up for vote like three or four years ago, where they were talking about splitting California into like different, like like eight oh. different states or something. I and, remember like, that. Do you remember that? I do. Yeah, like, it would have been really Idiotic. weird because like it, like where we are right here, you know, in the South Bay would have been basically a border of one state because I want to say like Long Beach would have been the cutoff uh, of another state. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Why does it want to fuck like, with everything? Right. <laughs> well, you know, I kind of get that. I really think California is too big mm. for, you know, it's laws, big. laws down here shouldn't apply to the same people up in NorCal. Like because, Sacramento I mean, or like, that one's already split. We'll pretend. Well, I mean, well here's the whole thing. It's Ca- pretty big. California, like there's some website I went on a, a while back where you can type in, um, you know, whatever place and whatever place and it'll overlap them on a map. California is larger than, than the whole UK. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Nice. So the UK, UK can fit in California and it spills into Nevada a little bit. Right. But that's that's the whole fucking country. So Several well, years ago. Here's the problem, I mean, though. If we split North and Southern California, like, I think that would just give one more red state. Yeah, that would. Southern totally California would. would stay blue, but then there would be one more red state. Well, we have, we have us, and we have Orange County, which would be red. Well, and we have Sa- San Francisco, which would be blue. Yeah, yeah. Typically, the coastal, the coastal areas, which are the more populated areas, are the more kind of blue voting, Metro, voting yeah. crowds. Stop moving here, it's, by the way. It's more the rural. Yeah, I agree with that. I'm don't gonna, come, I'm don't come this, here. I'm going to and then you got to say your thing. Okay. okay. All right, Sean's thing. I was just going to say, so, and Robert in the audience just brought up, uh, the, the succession movement has been on and off since the 60s, and, and Matteo Pozzola, the author of Cal Exit, he has, uh, there's a lot of back matter in this, and I love Some it. Some great back matter, yeah. So he starts out by saying, like, you don't live in California very long before you wind up in conversations about secession. Even though California is a reliable blue state, it's deeply diverse. So whenever there's a new presidential election, regardless of who wins, there's always chatter that California should secede. And this goes to the point that there is a lot of California that is not the liberal, you know, like the when I was moving here, people in Chicago were like, oh, it's a liberal and blah, 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 blah. And it, it, it's, it's not. There's pockets of both, right? And I mean, this is, I'm not going to go on a political tirade, but I will just say the answer to our political problem is not on the right or left. It's in the middle. It's common sense. And the right and the left have no fucking common sense, either fucking side. Now, the extremes of both are just the same thing. It's just lunacy. We need to go in the middle. We need common sense. And I feel like this book is an example of that. You would think right off the bat that this is some liberal, like, fuck Trump, whatever. And this is an exercise in 
in kind of theorizing what would happen if it did secede. It's not a full secession. There's a map, and it shows there's a Pacific Coast Sister Alliance, which is the kind of parts that have seceded. There's the Sovereign Citizens Coalition. There's Occupied by U.S. National Guard. There's Unoccupied Sister Cities. There's Battleground Cities, and there's Bunkerville Militants, and all of these are factions fighting for various things. The book starts out where Trump has actually been reelected, well, and he's, go- he's well, making it known on that. coming it's, in the it's California. two years into his re-election, yes. which they never, uh, they never once do say the name Trump. They just, no, they just but say, the president. I, I believe, I believe at, at, at one point, he our, has very much our, glory, our, our glorious president. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I mean, it's, it's obvious. No, but yeah. I'm glad, they, I'm glad he didn't put it on the Bannon nose. Either, but yeah. that's obviously Steve Bannon. Oh, no, wait, that's not even the Steve Bannon picture. There's there's another one in here that, And the scary dude looks like Steve Jobs. Yeah, he totally does. Okay, everyone agrees with me, number one. And then, what was I saying? Oh, and but things are not in total chaos. People are still on Hollywood Boulevard taking yeah. pictures with those actors. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Which right. is crazy. And like the dude obviously lives in California. Like it's so accurate. Yep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. so accurate. Maybe the guy that wrote it. That's, that's, that's yeah, yeah. the picture. You should get him for a signing. That's the I picture. Would, right I would there. freaking that's love that because I'm so. I do not like to talk politics. I hate politics. I think they're awful. Although she did but march with me. I, I marched with you at LAX. Because you but, like humans. But I do like humans. But this is not <laughs> ham fisted. I hate ham fisted yeah. things. This was intelligently it's done. It's very intelligent. Very done. entertaining. It is a really good book. And I mean, I definitely want to reiterate that if, if anybody sees this and thinks that, oh, it's just going to be this like liberal agenda, it's not. It's a really intelligent, like Jordan said, entertaining take on what it would actually look like if this was actually to happen. There's two main characters that it seems to be focusing on right now. There is um, one guy. Zora. Who's, and, and the, there, there's the, Zora, who appears to be a kind of like resistance leader, mm-hmm. or at least With somebody. With a robot up there. leg. Does she have a robot leg? She totally she, does. I'm, sick. I'm sick of yeah, cyborgs, she does. She does. but... She does. Holy shit, you're right. It's, it's me. It's on yeah, me. But, but it's also... If everyone yeah, loves cyborg chicks, in, uh, I'm not a fan see? of cyborgs. It's people. also well. like what a real leg prosthetic leg looks like now. Almost. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Let I mean, it's, it's not oh, like well, she's cyborg wearing, She's wearing a boot, so I can't see the foot, but yeah. She is Canadian, so that makes sense. She's Canadian? Is she Canadian? No, you said a boot. Oh, oh. Okay. And the other guy is Jamil, and he's the um, and he's, he's, he's the courier, which is basically a drug dealer. Uh, he's a right? smuggler but of sorts. Smuggler. But he's like a, a, a pharmacist because he can't afford antidepressants. Yeah. So, so he's it, like, please give me antidepressants that are affordable to me, which is, you it, know. It starts with him basically selling drugs to this uh, well, he, U.S. Homeland, agent, uh, Homeland, Homeland Security. Security. But here's agent. the thing. You know what it is, though. You know what it is. It's uh-huh. Princess Leia and Han Solo. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe, wait, maybe. Who's Princess Leia, the Homeland it, Security guy? No, 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 the girl. The oh. girl. She's the leader of this kind of rebellion going on. Oh. He's the smuggler who's yeah. hired to get her out of there. Okay, yeah. real quick before I um so forget. Look, so there's, there's, that's, an, there's that's an, an old biker dude <laughs> knitting in, like, the last page. And on the first page is, like, a woman, like, mom and pop. And the woman is knitting. And I think that's very interesting. Oh. There she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that yeah. is interesting. Wow. Yeah, because I think that's super mom and pop. Like, dad is wearing a sweater vest. Yeah, and right. Yeah, he's you're handling all... the radio. Yeah, I guarantee anybody else who read because I didn't. No, and anybody else who read this did not notice I didn't the notice knitting this. aspect. But somebody noticed it. You did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, um, I really uh, the the back matter. I, he has an interview. I didn't read all of, it, but he has an inter- interview with Amanda Weaver, who I'd never heard of before. But she's from Chicago, my hometown, and she talks about the really grassroots um, political like movements and motivation. And it's it's really interesting. She starts that's, out. That's the part where they push agendas. No, no, it's, I don't think matter. it is at all. You can do that in the back matter. She, she she talks about how she got involved in organizing people was because where she went to school. The school had a deal with Aramark, which is a huge food preparation supply company, mm-hmm. where students get these student loans, and like a large portion of it is forced to go to these meals mm-hmm. that they, nobody wants. They're like, we don't even we don't oh, want fine. this. And mm-hmm. so she organized a whole thing against that, and she says like we lost, but we we won some small battles, but didn't win the ultimate battle. But it got her into politics, and she talks a lot about this grassroots knocking on doors, talking to people for five to eight minutes to see what what they think, what their views of their neighborhood are, what their views for their family are. And I think that this is all what is informing this book. That's why I think it's like it's very interesting. It's This is the foundation, because we see the, the end of the book, I don't want to give anything away, but we see a community that looks kind of disparate come together in a really big it way was awesome. and it's entertaining yeah. as fuck i mean you it's mean like the valley up there yeah, 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 yeah. it's, it's yeah. so awesome yeah, yeah. such a great scene. Like,